All right, so I want to be able to move the uh, the profile folder in Brave that is usually in uh, the local thing right over here. I want to be able to move this. Okay, let's get the room. I want to be able to move the right, the uh, profile folder that is in generally C users slash whatever your name is. I don't know why my S is not there. A slash app data slash local. Uh, if you go here, you're actually not going to see app data probably, so you're going to have to type it in. Uh, and then this is the full, right? So you want to move this profile folder to a non-custom location. In my case, this is encrypted, the Z drive, so I want to move it to there. The first thing you do after you've installed Brave, of course, is you copy it uh, into where you want it to be. So this is going to be in, uh, from the app data Brave software to Z slash Brave software. You copy it. You delete it in the original location. Now, obviously, make sure Brave is not running, that sort of thing. Uh, you delete it. All right. Now it's not there. The second thing you do is you create a text file. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but it's going to have to be uh, just just copy this mklink slash j. Make sure you have this is the original location. You're creating a symbolic link here, so that's why you deleted it. So there's nothing there and make sure there's something there. Right. So because this is a text file, you're either going to have to, uh, if the extensions are showing, you can type in .bat here. If it's not showing, you're going to have to open it as a text file and then go to File, Save As. Uh, put quotes around it, uh, brave.bat, and then you create a new file off of this, right? Right over here. You click this, right? And then make sure it's not in the original location anymore. Make sure it's in the correct location. Make sure you put the right uh, stuff here. And it's going to create it. And you see it right here. You see this. Now, watch this. So you go here and it still looks like it's in the C drive. It's not. And how do we know this? Well, you go here. All right. And let's say you, you're on the Z drive here. You're on the, the custom thing. Create just a new folder. Just any new folder, right? And then you see, ah, oh, it's there. Crazy, isn't it? So just delete that or, or not. doesn't really matter. And you're basically done. That is it. Uh, in Firefox, there was a custom little tool you could do it. You just have to type in a couple lines here. And let's see that it works, right? So watch this. You see that it's working, right? And that's how you know it's now accessing the uh, other drive. And what happens, for example, if you close Brave, and let's say you undo the encryption here, right? You dismount that, right? There's no Z drive, right? Force dismount, yep. All right, watch that you can't access it. Ah, look at that. And Brave most likely is not going to open because this is already here. It's just pointing to a location that's not accessible. So it doesn't even open for you, which is exactly what it should be since we got rid of the Z drive here. So I hope that helps in moving in, in moving the profile folder to a custom location. And uh, oops, there we go. Well, that's fine. And that's it.